with the latest on former child star Amanda Bynes. She is now blasting superstar Rihanna and calling out the NYPD in an online rampage after her arrest last week. ABC's Diana Perez has the story. Does anybody here think they can talk to her in a way that might get her to see what she's doing is wrong? It's the question many are asking this morning about Easy A star Amanda Bynes. In a series of bizarre tweets over the weekend following her arrest that landed her in front of a judge on Friday, writing, I know cops cannot illegally enter my apartment, sexually harass me, arrest me, take me to a mental hospital, then lock me up for a crime I didn't commit. I'm suing them all for this upsetting nightmare. Former child star, now 27 years old, was charged with criminal possession of marijuana, tampering with physical evidence and reckless endangerment after police claim she threw a bong out of her 36-story apartment window in New York late Thursday night. The NYPD denies Bynes' claim of sexual harassment, but are investigating the matter. It's going to be difficult for her to prove that. One, her credibility is shot, given her erratic behavior and given all the steps that led up to this occurrence. And two, there was an eyewitness present the entire time that the police were there, and he says that nothing inappropriate happened. And it's not just the NYPD in the star's crosshairs. She says she's suing her family for money laundering and even attacked singer Rihanna, reportedly tweeting and quickly deleting a string of vicious insults against the pop superstar. Most recently writing, I am allergic to marijuana and alcohol, but I smoke tobacco. Why does Rihanna smoke weed and not get in trouble for it? But I smoke tobacco and people think I'm on drugs. In response, a single tweet from Rihanna, quote, you see what happens when they cancel intervention? The once fresh-faced Hollywood starlet, seen with a sheared haircut in her latest mugshot, has emerged from her apartment to reportedly shop for a brand new wig. And despite her turbulent week, denied anything was wrong. For Good Morning America, Diana Perez, ABC News, New York.